happening now. Crowds at the Wilbur Theater spilling out into the streets of Boston after Chris Rock's sold out show. It is the comedian's first public appearance since he was slapped by Will Smith during a live televised broadcast of the Academy Awards. Our David Wade has been there all night. And uh, David, you have caught up with people who actually got a chance to watch the show. Yeah, that's right, Anaris. The show just let out. And of course, this is what everyone was talking about in the city of Boston. Really, from Los Angeles to Boston, everyone's been wondering if Chris Rock would get on on stage tonight and talk about what Will Smith did to him on Sunday night, the slap that was heard around the world. We have some uh, ladies here from Boston who just came out of the show moments ago. Uh, Mary Elaine? Yes, hello. Former comedian, by the yeah. way. Uh, so the way it sounds is that he came out on stage and there was just the briefest of moments in which he even talked about this. Correct. Um, yes, I'm a... Oh, you. thank you. Um, as you said, I'm a former colleague of Chris. And, yeah, he was just forever the class act always a professional he you know didn't say anything catty whatsoever and just went on and did his prepared show okay so it sounds like and i'm going to bring bring you in from the back here uh it sounds like and correct me if i'm wrong he comes out on stage and he starts by saying how was your weekend basically Her. alluding to the fact that he had quite the weekend and where did it go from there Correct. He, he was he was very funny in that he he acknowledged it without fully discussing it. He then said, "I'm still processing yeah. what happened on my weekend." Um, but he he also said that he'd already prepared a lot of great material for the show and that that was what he was going to deliver. But he did mention that he's going to have stuff to say about what happened, but not for that show. Interesting. So maybe so another day. I think more day. to come. Okay. So how was the show overall? It was so awesome. funny. Right. You guys all yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was all right. So early reviews are good. And want to bring in this gentleman off to my left here. Would you come on over? Well, the two of you can come over. How are you? You're live right now on CBS News Boston. Okay. Uh, you're at the show tonight. Obviously, yeah. you're a Chris Rock fan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think about the idea that he decided really not to talk about what happened at the Oscars? Oh, I'm, I don't think no one way about it. You know what I mean? I just came to hear some jokes, man. I just wanted to come and have a good time. Yeah. And it was a good time, though. So he time. came out and said he's still processing it. Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he said he had a routine that he wanted to do. Yeah. But because of what happened, it didn't, you know what I mean? I guess he got diverted. And, you know, but he still has some in store for everybody. It was a good time, though. Yeah, you had a good time and it was yeah, a good show. Yeah, yeah, I had a good time, man. Yeah. Me and my brother, we had a good time. Oh, uh, this is your brother here. Yeah, How are yeah. you, sir? Good, you David doing? Wade from WBZ hey. TV. What did you think of the show and what did you think about his decision really to not talk about, too much about Will Smith? I think it was a good idea. Yeah. I think it was clean. Yeah, yeah. I think he could have did that. I mean, whatever he did on TV, I think he could have waited to, to the uh, awards were over when he did it. But, yeah. So you were shocked that Will Smith did that? From the, yeah, from the jump. Yeah. I, I think he could have waited. But, yeah. And yeah. one more question for you. I don't know if you even heard this, but the Academy of uh, Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences came out today, and they said that they tried to get Will Smith to leave after he did that, and yeah. he refused. Have you heard that? No. I didn't watch the show. You didn't watch the show? Well, I you've seen the clip, though. I've seen the clip. Everybody's seen the clip. Yeah. And what do you think? Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, you know, I ain't got no, I ain't got no comment on it. Yeah. I didn't. I mean, were you disappointed in Will Smith? Again, I ain't got no comment on it, man. I could say a whole bunch of things, man. I mean, but, you were I here mean, to, you were here to listen to some jokes, and that's what you got. That's all I came uh, for, man. <laughs> that's all I came for, man. You know I appreciate mean? it. You know what? We should all laugh a little bit more, that's it, that's right? It, we should all laugh all right, a little bit more. You, Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Enjoy the rest of your right. evening. So there you have it. Chris Rock's show started at 7.30, actually started a little bit late because the lines were so long. People had to hand over their cell phones. That slowed down the lines. Another show, though, set to start at 10 o'clock. Anna Redis will send it back to you. He basically didn't talk about it. Just to give you a quick background again, he came out, said, how is your weekend, which made everyone laugh. He said that he's still processing what happened in his weekend and said at a later date he might have more to say about the topic. So interesting that that was his option. We'll see if that's going to be the case during the 10 o'clock show. And I know Christina Rex is there with you, and we'll see you for the WBZ News at 11 over on Channel 4. David, thank you.